What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode three of our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. Uh, and so we are going to uh, continue where we left off. It's a new day, brand new day here in Alola. Once again, our mom is uh, bragging about the the weather, and I guarantee someone's about to ring the doorbell. There it is. There it is. This is like clockwork, guys. It's just every time. Uh, between last episode and this episode, I completely... You don't see it because I have a, I have a little blanket hanging here. But I, I redid a bunch of stuff in my room. I moved my light, which used to be there, to there. It looks awful. It ruins the feng shui of the room. Uh, but... Uh, it's better for it's better for recording, so uh, I will be having no visitors in this room <laughs> until uh, until I'm done. But room's a mess, but it looks great on camera. <laughs> That's what matters. Oh, um, the professor said said, "Hey there, Lily, bring the great new trainer." Woo! So uh, I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab. If you'll come with me, it's um this way. And then my mom's like, Geo. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Thanks, Mom. Oh, well done, Geo. You're making friends, aren't you? What a cute little friend you found. Wow, Mom, I'm 11. Come on. My name's Lily. It's very nice to meet you. This is her face. Enjoy your time out with Poplio and don't be gone long. Oh my word. Mom's right. Always, always telling you not to be gone long. I should visit my mom. I haven't seen her in a very long time. Uh, you can reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. It says you can research moves better when he's so surrounded by Pokemon. Makes sense. Kind of. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that repels keep Pokemon from attacking, right? Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It comes from far away. Pew! It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves. To use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Kahunahala... And the only people I'm going to trust about it. Can I keep you a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on the bridge, please? Oh, Geo, you want to know something neat? Yeah, jump down over this thing? Is that what you... Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Um, let's hop, and skip, and jump. We're going to avoid that grassy area, but I think this is a battle. Yeah, it would appear so. Alola. I like how they're, like, culturally appropriating <laughs> Hawaii to make it their own, like... You know, no, it's not appropriation because it's not aloha. It's literally their own word, a fictional word of their own creation that at best bears similarity to an existing word. So it's not cultural appropriation. You pass this time, progressive Nintendo. Uh, we're going to uh, stick with simple attacks here. And actually, I'm going to skip this. It's a very defeated young goose. You know what, actually, I said uh, in episode two, a bunch of times, I was like, I'm going to skip this battle. And then I re rendered the whole video after I was done, um, having completely forgotten <laughs> to uh, remove that. So as I did a, a quick check on the video, I noticed these uh, big areas of absolutely nothing going on. That was a stupid move on my part. <laughs> So I had to completely uh, re-edit the video. Because I just, I rushed it. I rushed it. And so, it, that's that's the price I pay. So this time I'm not going to forget. I am really glad I skipped that battle. Because, uh... That Wingle used Supersonic on me. And then I hit myself in confusion. Four times in a row. 
Nope. Sorry, Mr. Phone. Um, hit myself in confusion four times in a row, and then uh, I, in, during that time, I got growled a lot, so uh, the only move I could use was a special attack against him, and Wingle has pretty good special defense, and I couldn't hit it super effectively, and let me just suffice to say, it was a very frustrating battle, and it took way too long, so I skipped it out. What's going on in there? Oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go. Give it everything you got. My body is ready. Woo! <laughs> Come on. Ah, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. It's actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe it'd be more help if uh, I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. I keep reading small words incorrectly. Ruff, ruff, ruff. My body is ready. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds and I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. So he's researching moves. Got a little snubble over there. Oh, love disc in the back. Hey there, Geo. Thanks for getting in for me, Lily. Hmm. Of course. However, I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock rough moves are so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Geo, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? What do you think of this place? Not bad, right? That's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence inside machines. Yeah, buddy. To put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's... Only complete once Rotom has gotten into the body specifically developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo. And there's only a few of these beauties in the world so far. And now if I just power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. Way to go, Professor. Kazzzt. Hi, Rotom. Hey, now. Sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zzzt. Rotom, here boy, powered up your favorite decks. Give Geo a hero helping hand, yeah? You spooky little ghost getting inside my Pokedex like that. Spooky little guy. Uh, hey there. P pleasure to meet you. Oh, damn, I didn't read it fast enough. <laughs> Check it out, Geo. Now Rotom could talk right to you. Might take a while getting used to its new job, but I'd say... Rotom's taking a liking to you. And uh, this will help how exactly? Geo hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him a special Rotom Dex to help nav help him navigate around, Shakabra. Thank you very much. Don't thank me, thank Rotom? No. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you might even check out the town map. Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Ha ho! What are you doing now? Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Geo? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in that loft. So, Gio, I'm giving you this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Gio, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. <laughs> All right, then, Gio. You too, How? Get a move on. Okay. You got it, Ace. To the trainer's school. You gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road becoming the Island Challenge champion. And the trainer's school is the first step. 
What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. The Island Challenge. This is how people of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's the way you and your Poplio both choose one another. And now with Rotom helping you out as well, even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're by your side. Lily, you take care of you. Why is everyone taking care of me? Relax. Come on. I'm a fully grown 11 year old. What's down in this basement, huh? Nothing creepy. Definitely nothing creepy. Little polywhirl. Goosh. Bunch of running sciency things on these love discs. A couple of books. Physical moves. Just ways to learn. Two monitors. Got a dual monitor set up. Not bad. Very neatly organized on the computer. Excellent. It's got a little towel draped over that bench there. Because he likes to work out. Rock on. All right, we're good here. We're good here. We've done a, uh, a sufficient job. Pokemon Center is practically next to your house, isn't it, Geo? Uh... Everything has fallen into darkness. What? Pew! Nebby, don't worry. It's okay. This must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon gets covered up. Was a lunar, lunar eclipse forecast for today? Yeah, well, must be some kind of good omen, yeah? What a positive guy. An omen? You think something good will happen? Sure. A long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah? But people say that's when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted all that darkness away with light. And they also say that's why people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that custom shape turned into the Island Challenge. That custom turned into, yeah. Geo, now that you got that Z power ring, hope you'll collect tons of Z crystals. Woo, that's exactly what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Oh, God. I gotta be honest, after a while, everything went black all of a sudden. I thought I might have been out of batteries. You okay now? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. I won't short circuit that easy. <laughs> Maybe a nice visit to the Poconos will have us feeling better in no time. I agree because uh, Poplio is hurt. Very hurt. Severely injured. Uh, is this anything new? What do we got? Wingle. Oh boy. We are out of here. And on my first time trying to run away, I failed. So, I mean, I got it the second time. All he did was growl me. But still, these Pokemon, I swear... I love Pelipper, but fighting you guys in the wild is not the business. Not another one. Maybe I'll try and catch him. I don't really need a water type or a flying type. All right, we're back. We once again failed to run away twice. And then after we succeeded, um, <laughs> or while we were in the process of succeeding, my roommate had to uh, yell something. So you might've heard his voice in the background. Um, Honestly, I, the runaway feature in Pokemon Battles is super annoying because I'm much higher level than that Wingle was and I failed to run away a total of three times over the course of two battles. And that's really annoying. <laughs> like, really, really frustrating. Because, like, what's the, the point of running away is to make it faster. If, if it, I should have just killed it. If... Special treats that sometimes staff have a trip for trial goers. Hmm. Okay. I do really like that uh, this game introduced the idea of putting trainer, uh, like a uh, Pokemon Center and Pokemon Mart in the same building. Big fan of that. Six Pokemon with you. Yep. You guys gonna give me anything? What do you got for me? Uh, I just want to buy Pokeballs, honestly. I need to have lots of those. Let's get like 30, just to, just to be on the safe side. And, uh... Oh, dumb of me. I should have gone 10, 10, and 10. Stupid. Uh, and then let's just grab a quick 10 potions, just to be safe. 
Uh, antidote for poison. Need anything else? I need repels. My goodness, do I need repels. Let's get 30 of those. Uh, don't really worry too much about these. Paralyze heal, I got one. That should be fine. Use the PC for free. And what do you have? I don't want any of those things. How about you? Anything? Look at all these what a useless bunch of... Thank you for populating my world, random bystanders. Alright, so we gotta go to the trainer school. There was one more trainer down here that I want to battle lickety split. Oh, he's got an Inke. That's cute. I love Inke. Okay. We are good, and now I think it's time that we be on our merry little tiny little way. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Ooh. What is this, Taurus blocking our path? Well, that's fine, we're just gonna go in here. Trainer school. What do you think we'll find at this trainer school place? If I recall correctly, in uh, regular Sun and regular Moon, there was a pretty hard battle here. Welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, she was a real tough one too. Put him through a, a ringer good teach. All right, looks like I have to beat four. So we have EXP share. And the trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. May want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. Trains your kids right. One of our students is even a captain. What does that mean? You can designate anyone a captain. That doesn't make you special. Alright. Okay. So, is the, I guess the point of the trainer school... I mean, there's always one of these. Pretty much every one of these games. Youth Athlete Hiromi. Got a badminton racket. And a Bonsley. So I'm not going to be skipping any of these battles since they're story battles. I think the point of them is to have something to do with the game itself. Bonsley's rock type, so should be, yeah. Making quick work of him. And she said she's going to use a potion on it. Nah, sister. Can't heal through a faint... So they're all teaching me things that you should know, everyone here should know. But uh, in case you're wondering, you can use items on your on your Pokemon. You can go inside here and see what's up here. Parking himself at the base of the stairs, limiting my ability to go up. You look like a trainer. Quick Claw, excellent, allowing me to go first. This is gonna be perfect for, um, perfect held item for my little pea. This little pea is slow, kind of. <laughs> not super, not super quick. That kid's reminding me of that. We got a little classroom in here. Uh, you guys have anything for me? Battle? So, her Metapod has an Orin Berry. Which means... I'm probably gonna... If I can't two-hit KO it... It's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna harden repeatedly and just take a lot of time to kill, I'm assuming. 
Were I a gambling man, that would be my guess. Yes. I outsped it before it got a Harden off, which will do absolutely nothing. Now I'll get a two-hit KO. No, I won't, because of the Orin Berry. <laughs> Damn it. Nah, it's still a two-hit KO. Harden is the best. What an amazing move. So fantastic. Sweet. Still, still net the two-hit KO. Wants to learn Baby Doll Eyes, which is just a better version of Growl, if I recall correctly. Doesn't it? I think it has priority. I mean, I'm not going to use it, so maybe that was a waste of time. But I done did it anyway. And we got EXP share, so Bugnitude's gonna get a few levels himself without seeing any playtime. And I get three Orin Berries, which are actually really useful in, in the early part of this game. Uh, but here we're just running around looking for things. Uh, there's a book here. I'm talking about same type of attack bonus stab 1.5 times additional power on your moves if you happen to be the same type as the move you're using water pokemon using water type moves etc got a gate here a little grassy area and some items antidote uh, i'll check out and see what we can catch here also while i'm looking for more items Ooh, new Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. When you see a new Pokemon, your uh, Rotom does like a little target reticle found thing. All right, well, this is cool. I'm definitely gonna catch this guy. All right, Meowth is caught. So we now have an Alolan Meowth. Bugging two got a level, excellent, excellent. Making moves. It's impulsive, selfish, and fickle. It's very popular with some trainers who like giving it the attention it's ne it needs. Uh, yeah, we're gonna nickname uh, we're gonna nickname you Little Keat. Not with the word "little" in it. You're just gonna be Keat, cause you're a little Keat, a little Keaty cat. Mary Keat and Ashley. Another item, Paralyzed Heal. This is good, uh, but also leads me to fear that. This little kid's gonna try and paralyze me and poison me. Oh! Going up against Grimer. So I can't remember if uh, Poplio starts with a second type or if it's just water. I know that, of course, it becomes part fairy, but I don't know if it's there yet. But more importantly, uh, despite being part dark, probably better off just sticking with a water gun. Because uh, poison resists fairy. No, don't poison me. Okay, we're good. We're still good. And uh, high roll here will take out Grimer. Nope. No poison. Now I can safely disarming voice split the PP usage a little bit. And neutral because poison and dark type. Uh, the effectiveness and non-effectiveness counter each other out. Oh, that's Joey! There's always a youngster Joey. Every game. I know that because uh, Joey Pokeaim always talks about it. Not always talks about it. I think one time he said it. And a magnitude. Okay, I want this. I want this. I'm definitely going to catch this. Bam! Get very caught, Magnemite. I actually crit it, but it lived, so thank Genus for that. Three attack? Man. 
That's some wasted EVs right there. Bugnitude learning mud slap. Oh yeah, I remember Bugnitude learns like amazing coverage. Uh, but I'm excited for Magnemite. It's good to have an electric type Pokemon. And a steel. If anyone's gonna try and run around throwing poison or uh, toxic or T waves. Frequently the cause of power outages, which is why some power plants send out electrical signals that it can't stand. Ah! I forgot to give it a nickname. That sucks. Well, I won't be holding on to it for er. Forever. Er. But I'm going to use it for now. Because I do like it. But I shouldn't have been so rushy rushy with the, uh, the A spam. There was a Pokeball over here. There we go. What am I at uh, combat wise? The one girl on the side over there. Over there. The one kid over there. There's one person inside, so one more trainer outside, and then the the boss fighter. Grass, fire, water. They're playing rock, paper. Oh, what would win a matchup between fire type and water type? The water type would win, you dangus. That must be a great trainer. Listen, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm not bad. Are you the captain? Looks like you beat everyone else, huh? But you don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekin's ability is gonna get ya. What is Ekin's ability? Shed skin? Rising star? Ekin's in a great ball, so... His parents come from money, because he can afford a Great Ball. Oh, Intimidate. That's how he's going to get me. He shan't, actually. Uh, I'm going to... No need to play this one weird. Uh, uh, the bite hit me for neutral, so that's how I know I don't have... Um, uh, secondary typing yet. Which also means Disarming Voice is actually weaker than Water Gun. Unless I have super effective bonus on it. Because Water Gun will be getting stab and the other one will not. So, Ekans really did nothing there. Winning even after your attack stat is lowered. An indomitable spirit indeed. He's just like, mm, chilling there. What a silly guy. But fine, whatever, I can admit what I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. TM1, work up. So, normally, single attack boosts in like a one-on-one -on -one scenario kind of a waste because it would take three attacks to make it worth it. Um, but the one time it, it's it, this point of the game, it actually can be because oftentimes your lead, your starter can be sufficiently powerful enough that it almost one hit KOs Pokemon. So if you use it and then continue to one hit KO every single other Pokemon that the person has because of the additional modifier, uh, that can actually be very useful. So it's good against uh, opponent when your opponent has multiple Pokemon. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? So you did do something. Shh, silly Lily. Can you heal me? Yes! Please try not to push your Pokemon too hard. Um, I mean, if you don't mind. Alright, so now we're going to the office. Is that upstairs? Looks like it. Door we can't go in there. Useless locker over there. We're going upstairs. Chio, I can't believe that you beat all of my students fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Yes. Good. I heard about you from Professor Kukui. I'll be challenging you with Pokemon that has a type advantage against that Poplio you chose for your partner. 
Is that a mag magnitude? Did I say magnitude? <laughs> magnemite? Teacher Emily. It's gotta be a magnemite, right? Rowlet. Grass type, okay. Potentially grass flying. I can't remember if it starts with a flying secondary typing. I know it doesn't end with one, but... Um, so... A couple ways I could do this. I could count on it not really having any grass type attacks and just pound it with a disarming voice a little bit. Bugmitude's not going to be much of a use because I think it starts with pack. Magmite resists both. Um, grass and flying. Which makes it a pretty good switch in. So I might as well just weaken it as much as possible with little P. I don't really mind if it faints too much. Uh, water gun will be resisted, so disarming voice is my best move here. And I get to go first, which is excellent. Probably would have been better if I got to go first the second time. Oh, that does so little. If it spams leafage, I will go down. But I got two hits off on it first. So I weakened it just a little bit. Let's sack Bugnitude here, I think. Um, doesn't have much for it. I might be able to... I might be able to hit it with a Vice Grip or something. Yeah, let's switch out here. Bugnitude's in. This is really just a sack to allow me to switch. I don't think Bug 2 can take two leafages. Well, it looks like it can. But it won't be able to if there's a... Uh, if it has peck. I could string shot it. That would actually allow me one more hit uh, with another Pokemon. So I am going to do that, actually. It's going to go for a tackle. This is going to be useful. This is going to afford me the ability to um, outspeed it with Poplio, which means Poplio uh, won't go down before getting one more hit off. Is this two stages? I should have been paying more attention. Harshly lowers. Okay, so I don't need to do it twice. There's no way he's twice as fast. Uh, Mudslap would lower its accuracy. I, to be honest, can't remember if Rowlet has its secondary typing already. But I don't imagine Vice Grip will do that much damage, so I'm actually gonna try the Mud Slap. So it does have flying type already. So this is me learning. This is me learning. I forgot about that. Uh, I am still faster. I will still get one more vice grip off. I could switch out now. Magnemite can tank everything. Uh, tackle. Looks like it doesn't have peck yet. Leafage. Um, I got Thundershock and Thunder Wave and Supersonic. So I'm actually going to switch out to take this. I want everyone to take uh, everyone to gain the EXP here. I don't want anyone fainting. And she's only got one Pokemon. There's the leafage. I'll tank that. Four damage. Got five more hits against me unless it's got uh, an additional move hiding in the wake. Thundershock is resisted. Uh, it is. And it's 40 power and tackle is also 40 power. Resisted. Half damage, 1.5 times modifier, so it's not going to do as much as tackle, presumably, except that my special attack stat is probably sufficiently higher. I might just pop off a supersonic here. I'm going to play cheeky, actually. I'm going to play cheeky. I'm going to... I got to be safe here. Try and get it to attack itself a few times. Get it to miss as many turns as possible. There we go. It's already paid off. I could Thunder Wave it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to start pounding it with Tackle. At this point, I I think I got it. Oh, that did so little damage. That's a crit. Which is unfortunate. So I am going to T-Wave it on the off chance that this affords me a couple of extra attacks uh, with my other Pokemon. Parafusion, making it difficult. Uh, so it got paralyzed on the turn that it broke free of confusion supersonic is actually a very low accuracy move 55 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna risk it here because then i'm 
potentially wasting turns. Uh, so let's just start hitting it with, uh, there you go, there's a crit. Here's a leafage. That's another crit. I think I can take it with one more Thundershock, but if I don't, and he doesn't crit me back, I actually live with one HP. But I do get the faint, so I do manage to take, uh, take you down, suffering no fainting on my part. Bugnitude taking a ding. And Keep taking a ding. Sensational. So I may have overdone that. Maybe it was better to just attack what was in front of me every single time. But um, with when it comes to situations like that, I like to remove as much of the element of risk of luck against me and put as much as I can back in my favor. So I defeated her. She gave me five great balls. Know your Pokemon, know their moves. It's the basics of being a trainer. How about it? Greetings, Captain Ilya. I Ili Captain Ilima here. I couldn't help but observe your abilities. You looked so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Geo. Who moved here from the Alola uh, to Alola from the Kanto region? He's got a real sense for how to use moves. I think he's gonna go far as a trainer, yeah? I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in the Verdant Cabin, the trial of Captain Elima. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Howaloli City. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. <laughs> he didn't... That wasn't written there. I just assumed he would laugh like that. That's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I reported to the folks upstairs that the Tauros blocking the road is out front again. That guy's Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here on Melee Melee, you know? Well, I guess it's time to dismiss you from school, Geo. Attention all students, Geo's completed his lessons at training school. Really? They're gonna ding that like this? Be good to your Pokemon and try to follow through the status conditions too. I didn't get status once, actually. Have fun, get Pokemon any berries you find, enjoy the challenge, use the skills, future champion, use the TMs, see what I'm made of. Why don't I show you more of the city? Come, there's lots to see. Yes! Let's go to Howlowly City. I'm ready. My body is ready. Geo, over here. I, I just saw you. You don't need to be like, hey! Although that's what How does. I remember that from the last game. He'd be like, hey! Every single time. You know. I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. It feels like you're really giving it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why we were able to save Nebby that time, Geo. Huh? Oh, I forgot about Tauros. Hmm. What did we forget? <laughs> I love how. How is the best? <laughs> Oh, if it isn't Lily and Geo. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I got old Tauros back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Geo? Um, let's not grab it by the tail. And let's not pet its face, because that could be aggressive. Let's stroke its mane. Doesn't seem to impress it. Alright, I'll pet its face then. I guess it likes it. This rascal already loves you. Pokemon be ha become happier when you show them some care. Whoa, oh, 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 the places you'll go, child. 
and as you do, you'll surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. The Kahunas sure are something, eh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all. But it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. So where are you two off to now? I was thinking I'd show Geo around Howlily City a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Geo just got here to Alola, huh? Then let me tag along, too. I want to go get something good to eat. All right, let's all go together. Then what are we waiting for? This way. Come on. Or did he say let's go? I don't know what he... <laughs> I'm half reading. Oh, how? I guess we should go catch up with him before it gets too far, Geo. How Alola is the biggest city in all of Alola. Fantastic. We're going big early. Uh, so that's going to be where I end this episode. I'm going to run back to uh, back to town to heal up my, my Pokemon. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it. Maybe I'll use a, the TM. I think in, in lieu of baby doll eyes, I might give work up to a couple of my Pokemon. But uh, next time you see me, I will be entering... Uh, Howlily City. So thanks so much for watching guys. This has been episode three um, And I guess episode four will come as soon as I'm done editing this one. So uh, as always my name is Jim Leader Geo You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in episode four